G'day folks. Well, I just got back from the uh, scrapyard. Had a bit of a hang around there, drinking a couple of beers and just chilling out with the guys. Um, weighed in that stainless steel cabinet from the Yamato Dataway. That came in at 242 kilos stripped. So that's not even including the scrap from the weigh heads and things. They're still sitting outside. All of the control gear is still in here, all the backing plates, the transformer, everything. So I reckon that thing would have weighed about 450 kilos when it was complete. So that's one heavy lump of cabinet. Um, either way, it's just sort of credit on my part. I cleaned something which was just going to go as steel scrap, so we'll work all that out. I'm pretty sure he's going to give me all the contents for free since I just made or oh, sorry, $250 worth of scrap stainless for him. I'm not sure what they sell stainless at, but I think it's about a dollar a kilo. Um, very good. So yeah, I moved the little PC up a little bit so that I can... Uh, I'm going to put a little shelf in underneath to put this portable hard drive in there. Um, otherwise it's a bit tricky to set up. Uh, there's no... Well, I just don't want it on the, bench, but on the bench with bits of crap getting cluttered around it. And likewise, I'm going to make a little modification to this case and fit a small sort of generic PCIe graphics card in there just so I'm not running off the onboard graphics anymore uh, should help with video editing a lot um, got plenty of uh, spare SATA ribbons so I could probably run an external hard drive out as well another um, SATA drive and just screw a carrier to the underside of this and just stuff it in there yeah I don't mind having pieces of my computer just screwed to the wall looks cool that way so yeah that's what I was doing last night um, what else? I picked up a vacuum accumulator and a few other things. Well, it's not a vacuum accumulator yet. It's a, actually a water pump accumulator. Uh, that's the guts of the Yamato and some of the vibrators. And there's another one there. Um, yeah, we'll strip that out later this afternoon, I think. It's still pouring with rain, so it's probably a good day to do it. And yes... I did get that overcomplicated toaster that someone was telling me about. I don't think it's the model that he was referring to. This is just a T-Fail generic bloody programmable thing. I don't know. I'll dry it out. It's full of water at the moment. The mica sheet will be saturated. So I'm going to dry it right out before I plug it in and just see what it does. But I've got a feeling that they wouldn't have thrown it out for no reason. Unless it was an op shop. Op shops don't do electrical appliances at all and they just throw them out whether they're working or not. So yeah, got that, got a whole box full of cartridge case brass, uh, the recyclers don't take it anymore so I picked it up, we've got roughly 100 762 NATO and oh, sorry, 308 Winchester which is the same thing but very slight difference in the cartridge but not that you really tell um, and about 100 243 Winchester. We found a live round mixed in with it as well so it's a good thing I decided to pick through it. Um, that's the reason why the recyclers don't take it. There have been a few incidents of live rounds getting through and exploding when they go through crushes or sorting stations and things like that. Uh, people get hurt when that happens. So, yeah, that's why recyclers don't take cartridge case brass anymore. But every now and then I get the urge to turn them into dummy rounds and sell them or hang them on my wall. I really need more M13 links. Or better yet, proper 308 closed loop links for the Browning 1919. They're getting very hard to find in Australia. Anything like that is. And it's very high price. Very, very expensive. Either way, we'll brave the rain. Or I think it's actually stopped. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely try and... I'll get that in and dry it out and work on sealing that door up. Uh, it turned out the uh, compressor was fine, it was a starting relay that went, so I ended up recovering the gas to the Fastidious air conditioner. I had to tap in in there on the suction line because my line taps only fit um, this larger copper tube. It, I wouldn't, couldn't fit them on the, uh, the quarter. They're just too, too big for the, uh, small, the smaller tubes. But yeah, that's all alloy sheet. If anyone was wondering why they're so easy to crush, because it's just bloody piss weak aluminum pressings. And this, hopefully, I can turn that into a vacuum accumulator, connect it up to that with a ball valve, pull a full vacuum on this, and then open the valve. <laughs> Crunch. 
but it's still got a bladder in there which is under pressure. So I'm gonna have to vac that down first. So this is a um, water pump level accumulator, I believe. Yeah. So I've got to vac that bladder down, crush it down to here, and then use the volume inside. 100 litres, max temp 110 degrees, maximum pressure 10 bar, yeah, expansion tank with diaphragm. Hmm. Should be interesting. <laughs> Either way. It's wet out here. I hate it when that happens. Last weekend I didn't want to work outside because it was 38 degrees. Now it's about 13 degrees. It's freezing and wet. <laughs> Typical bloody Melbourne weather. Either way, that's what's happening. Uh, now you know, and thanks for watching.